Happy Friday, my beloved brothers and sisters in Christ. I just got back from a final walkthrough um, with my wonderful, precious out-of-state clients. They're just so amazing. I've been working with them for like eight months. My goodness. But um, they're so patient and so diligent, honest and humble. I love, love, love working with people that are um, easygoing and um, realistic, <laughs> humble, honest, like my clients um, that God sent me. I am so thankful for them. Their closing is finally today after so many um, uh, challenges, you know, with uh, many things, financing and um, builders uh, delayed on you know like um building materials because of covid and so it's been a long amazing journey and to see how excited how thankful how grateful they are in um closing on their new beautiful gorgeous brand new home today um i'm just ecstatic i'm so grateful i'm so thankful so i'm sitting in the garage not garage the driveway of um, their aunt and uncles, which is my other clients in the subdivision where we just moved from uh, in September. Uh, I listed this home here, beautiful, gorgeous, large home, um, two days ago. And um, we have about seven offers on it. Three of them are cash. So we're going to make a decision uh, shortly. Uh, so, and they're all above asking price. So. God is good. God is good. I'm so grateful. I'm so thankful. So I wanted to get on here to encourage you guys that, you know, the Lord encouraged me, exhorted me that if I would just seek him first, seek him, his kingdom and his righteousness first and love him with all of my heart, be sincere with him and seek his face, seek his heart. All of my needs would be met. I would not have to worry. He spoke that into my heart, my spirit. I think it was 2018, the beginning of the year, because I had so many concerns. It was 2018, yes, yes. Um, so many concerns. Um, you know, there were some anxiety and um, we were going through a traumatic um, event. And um, so I was, restless about many things and the Lord said don't worry seek me first with all of your heart seek my kingdom seek my faith um, seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness all these things shall be add, added unto you who's getting warm in here let me turn the AC up yeah and um, he has been so faithful everything business clients everything um, home, shelter, friends, brothers and sisters in Christ like you guys. Everything that I have needed, he has provided. So I wanted to encourage you with this word um, from today's devotional, May 14. It's a very special day. And um, I pray that you will be blessed and you, you will be encouraged and inspired to seek God's heart, seek God's face in all things because he will give you the desires of your heart and our desires uh, may not be his desire for us but he will also align our desires align our hearts with his if we seek him and sincerely desire to honor him our father our savior amen hallelujah so here's the word not everything that you consider a need is a need oh my goodness I think of all the cars that I purchased. I purchased a lot of cars throughout my lifetime. I thought I needed this. I thought I needed that. And then after like, you know, 10 years of going through that cycle, I'm like, I didn't need it. I wanted it. I didn't need it. So anyways, not everything that we consider a need is a need, but more of a want or a desire. There's some things in your life, in my life, some people in our lives that we sometimes believe that, you know, it is a need or they are someone that we need, but it's more of a desire, a want. So 
we have to check our hearts and check it with um, the Word of God, which is God's heart for us, His will for us. You want good things and you want to be free of suffering. Can I get an amen? Amen. <laughs> I do not want to suffer anymore, but I know that as long as we're breathing, there'll always be some suffering. But praise God, His grace is sufficient to sustain us, to lead us, to help us overcome and heal. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you, Father. Thank you. Thank you, Lord. I want the same for you, dear one. God wants goodness and he wants our life free of suffering amen now some sufferings like for the sake of christ the name of christ that's an honor when we suffer for the sake and the name of christ when we choose christ when we choose his righteousness um sometimes we suffer we will be betrayed we will be hated despised rejected mocked scoffed scorned god promised to count that all joy because our rewards are great in heaven if we're suffering for the sake of christ for his name amen hallelujah but if we're suffering because we made some dumb decisions based on our wants based on our flesh that's different Praise God, His grace is still sufficient to heal, to restore, to redeem. But um, there's no like great rewards in heaven, you know, when we're suffering for stupidity, <laughs> when we go against our Father's will and go against the Spirit of God, amen, to appease our flesh. Been there, done that so many times, and I'm tired of suffering for those things. Help me, Jesus. Help me, help me, help me. All right, here's the most important thing that I want you to get out of this devotional today. Let me turn this down. All right. All needs, all, A-L-L, -L, all needs are fulfilled in your love for me. All of our needs are fulfilled in our love for our God. Amen. He says in his words, I don't know which um, scripture references it is, but he says that um, those who love him lack nothing good. He fulfilled the desires of our hearts, amen, if we love him. He also promised that no eyes have seen, mind has conceived, um, what God has in store, what God has in store for those who love him, those who are called who, according to his purposes, man. He has given me dreams of a glimpse of paradise, of heaven. He's shown me um, that there are um, like huge, massive roller coasters in heaven, like weaving through the galaxies and through the stars. He's shown me majestic oceans, turquoise, green. The colors uh, in heaven is so picturesque, is so rich. There's nothing like we've seen here. It's, it's majestic, it's flawless, it's untainted. And um, I've seen the oceans, I've seen um, my mansion in heaven. God showed me my mansion that sits on a high mountain, on the rock, on a high mountain, overlooking the glistening ocean, which is the desire of my heart. I want to live by the ocean, wake up to the ocean, walk along the ocean, the beach, day and night. I want to hear the waves. I want to feel the breeze and soak up the sunrises and the sunshine. I want the ocean. And God wants to give us the desires of our heart. Amen. Because he's a good, good God. Hallelujah. All right. The scriptures reading for this devotional is Deuteronomy 6, 5. And I'm going to go straight to that and end my um, video because my text is blowing up. All these agents trying to find out which op offers my cell is picking but here it is Deuteronomy chapter 6 and it's verse 7 and thou sh oh no not verse 7 back up back up Kina 5 and thou shall love the Lord thy God with all thine heart and with all thy soul and with all thy might and these words which I commanded thee this day shall be in thine heart when we love God, we love his word because Jesus is the word that manifested, that came to dwell among us, amen, that the um, book of John speaks about. I think it's John 1. He was the word in the beginning was the word, the word was God. The word was with God, the word was God, and the word came to dwell among us. 
Jesus is the word of God. God and his words are one. Amen. When we love the word of God, we become one with the word. When we love and honor the word of God, we love God with all of our heart, our mind, our strength, our intentions, our everything. All of our needs are met in our love for him, his love for us. And because he loves us, he wants to grant us the desires of our hearts. Just like my clients has the desires of his heart, his family. They're moving into the beautiful, gorgeous, brand new home, their first home ever. And it is marvelous. And I'm so grateful. I'm so grateful that God allowed all of that to come together and their dreams are coming true today. And I'm so, so thankful. Well, God bless you. Happy Friday. I love you. Be blessed in the Lord. Love him with all your heart, mind, body, strength, and soul. Amen. And he will give you the desires of your heart. And mine too. And sometimes some wants too. <laughs> Hallelujah. I love you guys.